Ballarat Football Club's CEO announces his resignation. And the Melbourne Cup returns to Ballarat on its Australasian tour. Good evening, I'm Amy Duggan. Also tonight, new data reveals commercial investors are flocking to Ballarat. Ballarat mental health workers have walked off the job today in a rally protesting a lack of staff and safety issues. The group is also demanding the state government agrees to a new enterprise bargaining agreement that would see workers receive a significant pay rise. Mental health workers care for some of Victoria's most vulnerable patients, but they say they're being overlooked by the state government. Well, the state of the conditions aren't terribly good at the moment. We could do a lot better. Rallying outside Ballarat Base Hospital, a group of concerned workers and union members gathered to draw public attention to their cause. The Health and Community Services Union is negotiating an enterprise bargaining agreement with the state government that outlines the need for more jobs and safety implementations for staff. There's been a history of violence throughout inpatient units and uh, we want extra staffing in there to help support people, to de-escalate people and stop trouble before it starts. The union is also asking for a 4% pay rise during the next four years, which would then bring the wages up to New South Wales standards. The EBA would afford greater resources to new workers. Getting sufficient support and training and the experience under the belt so that they can effectively do that. Due to the stressful nature of the job and the understaffing issues, it's becoming increasingly difficult to attract and maintain new workers. It's taking a heavy toll on the people involved in the industry. I'm a little bit crook at the moment and had to come in today because we just couldn't find staff to actually uh, fill positions. So we need to make, a good, make it a good career and encourage people to come and work in mental health. Alexandra Keith, Win News. North Ballarat Football Club's CEO has announced his resignation from the position after almost 11 years. Effective immediately, Mark Patterson says he decided it was time for a change. He says he's comfortable with the timing of his resignation and the implications for the club. If I'd taken it at the end of the year when recruiting and when all of those planning issues are, are being considered, then that would probably a little, be a little bit more uh, disruptive. Mr Patterson says he's unsure of what's next for him but looks forward to continuing his association with the club. Coming up next on Win News, the Australian Ballet pays a visit to central Victoria and a new art installation unveiled in Buninyong. A new sculpture has been officially unveiled in Buninyong. The ceremony was held this morning to celebrate the installation of the sculpture, which is the finishing touch of the Making Buninyong Community Partnership Initiative. The Buninyong Bivium sculpture was created by renowned Victorian artist Cliff Burt and represents the geography of the area as well as its pre- and post-settlement history. It is time now for Friday Sport with Tim Robinson and Tim Maryborough's Matthew Delavadova has made it official. He is signing with another club, means he's leaving the Cavs. Yeah, very exciting. He is off to Milwaukee, making some big bucks in the process. Also tonight, Christy Rinaldi celebrates a milestone match in the Siebel and the milestones continue with a North Ballarat Rooster to play his 175th match. North Ballarat Roosters player Oren Stevenson will return from injury for a special milestone this weekend. The Ruckman will play his 175th senior match for the side, becoming just the third Roosters player to achieve the milestone. Following a bumpy season which has seen him sidelined for the past few weeks with a knee injury, Oren Stevenson says he's wrapped to be playing his 175th senior VFL match. I think it's um, a fair bit of longevity in a, one of the toughest competitions to play footy in, um, you know, we're semi-professional, we've all got to work, we've all got to go to uni and then we try and play footy against blokes who are doing it full time. He says he enjoys being a mentor to the younger players and says he'll continue to be involved for as long as he physically can. You know, I miss that game day stuff when I'm injured, um, that's probably been the most frustrating thing with injury, you know, you just can't have an involvement or help out or um, just, you know, have that presence out in the footy field. Coach Mark Gregg says Stevenson's experience and height will provide a boost in this weekend's match against Collingwood. So we're really looking forward to getting some maturity back in the team against a strong Collingwood uh, outfit. Uh, they do have four players over 200 centimetres, so, um, and Jesse White's 196. 
Luke Keel will also return, but the side will miss Tim Schnering and Nick Waitman. Greg's hoping wet conditions will work in the home side's favour. While it is rainy and a bit slippery, hopefully that does play into our hands a little bit um, and we can get it to ground and then hopefully run it out with, with the young legs and the young enthusiasm, I guess. The match begins at 1pm Sunday at Eureka Stadium. Emily White, Win News. And Amy, that is all for Friday Sport. Thank you very much, Tim. Have a great weekend. Speaking of the weekend, the weather is next with the weekend outlook for around the region. Hello again. Cloud cover kept overnight minimum temperatures mild and up to five degrees above the average across most of the state. It was a mostly cloudy day today with fog hanging around into the afternoon across some parts of western Victoria. Let's have a look at the details now. In Warrnambool it was 13, Colac 10, 15 degrees in Geelong, 13 for Mortlake and Lake Bolac 13. Ballarat, it was a dry day there, 11 degrees in the top and stall hit 13 but didn't reach double digits until 1 p.m. On the satellite cloud over northeastern parts of Victoria with an upper trough is generating areas of rain. The sky is becoming clearer further west under a building ridge of high pressure. On the synoptic, a ridge of high pressure is drifting eastwards across the state tomorrow and that low pressure system and associated cold front we spoke of yesterday will develop south on Saturday that will reach Victoria Sunday night and early Monday. On the coast, a partly cloudy day with a chance of a shower in the morning. Some large swell, two to two and a half metres there. The forecast tomorrow, a partly cloudy day with areas of morning fog and light winds. As we check the maps, Warrnambool 14, Portland the same, Mortlake 13, Geelong 14, Lake Bolac 13, Stall 12, Horsham 13 as we head towards the top of the map. For Ballarat, it will be a partly cloudy day with patchy fog in the early morning and light winds. The Bureau says no rain is expected but look out for a top of 11. For Melbourne, early fog followed by a mostly sunny day with 14 and in the days ahead. Sunday, a shower or two. Monday, cloudy with rain and those showers continue on Tuesday. And that's how we saw the news in Western Victoria this Friday, July 8. Join us again on Monday night from 6 o'clock. Thank you for watching Wind Television. The project is up next. Enjoy your weekend. Good night.